What is good? So what I have in front of me is a Clorox bleach product. Of course, Clorox is nothing new. Bleach is nothing new. But I saw that it has the foam. And when I see this word, foam, my response is like, okay, it's going to make something cleaner. Got the same response when I saw foaming on my facial cleanser. So when I saw a foamer on this Clorox bottle, I was like, okay, it's gonna give something off very cleaner. It just, just the foam, like the bubbleness, the, the, the soapiness, I don't know, it's just bubbliness. It just makes it feel like it's cleaner. I don't, it's just my perspective for it. My opinion, but anyway. So of course, you know, bleach says it kills 99.9% .9 of germs and you scrub less so maybe that's one of the reasons why i like foaming because it kind of gives that, that that bubbly bubbly foam feel if that makes sense anyway okay so let's see if you can see this but okay so of course when you spray in clorox you don't want to really be too close to it as you spray or you don't want to inhale it i mean that's kind of weird if you well, I'm not going to judge anyway, but I, I don't think that's safe to do that. But anyway, okay. So, as you know, it cleans off mold and mildew stains. And it's saying like to open windows and turn off fans before you, so you don't really inhale it with not. They have a nozzle. As you can see, the on. And let me... And I have that there so I can show like how it comes out. That's why I have that empty toilet thingy. Roll it to shoot thingy. And then you got it off. So for safety reasons, you know, nothing can come out. See, I'm like spraying right now, so nothing is coming out. Which I thought was really nice. I have seen bottles where it says like off and then it has like the spray where it comes out a lot and then where it comes out a little bit. A lot of product doesn't really come all out of this, rather. A good amount comes out, so I don't have to worry about a lot of it coming out. I actually like this more than the regular Clorox bleach bottle. I don't know. I think it's... I don't know. I just feel like it having it cleaned a little bit better or a good amount of it is being sprayed on what I'm trying to clean, if that makes sense. But this is what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't spray it else. So you can see the foam, you know, on it. So let me do this again. So you can see the foam. Yep. That's the foam. So that's what it's gonna look like when you spray out of the bottle. But let me go on and clean this up right quick. So yeah. Had to clean it up for a little bit. Imagine touching bleach with your beater. I do recommend if you are using anything pertaining with cleaning products such as bleach or just doing a thoroughly clean in the bathroom because this does say a bathroom cleaner. Put some gloves on. I do recommend that you put on some gloves. But I mean using this is pretty much still self-explanatory I saw that it does have directions on the back if you know how to remove like mildew stains or you know just getting hard spots off but I already show you like they got the on nozzle part and then the off for safety reasons which I thought that was really respectful and responsible but so let's say you want to remove mildew stains okay cool you spray six to eight inches from surface until surface is thoroughly covered okay and allow foam to deeply penetrate mildew and problem areas wipe with a wet sponge or cloth and rinse and then heavy mildew buildup may require longer contact time or two cleanings if excess foam dries on nozzle, rinse with warm water. Then rinse, rinse immediately after use on rubber, plastic, and then 
and then tells you know what all to avoid with the spray because you don't want to stain or turn colors and look yellow or whatnot but uh anyway and then it just tells you how to do like a regular clean you know you spray wait a few minutes wipe the sponge and then heavy soap scum or mildew build up may need two cleanings and it says this product may not be able to remove soap, scum, and mildew, all of it or whatnot. But I don't know. I mean, I haven't really gotten any issues or problems with this. And it says refill only with this product. So I didn't know you can re refill this. Mm. Learn something new as well. Okay. And then, you know, you, of course, you got your warnings of, you know, of using it and stuff like that. And if it gets on your skin, you know what to do. All that good stuff. So, I haven't had any complaints from it. You know, when I use this product, I pretty much get what I want clean, what I want off. Uh, I do actually use other cleaning products as well for when I'm cleaning the bathroom. This isn't the key thing that I use, but this is one of the things I do when I'm doing a deep cleaning on something in the bathroom or just trying to, you know, get... The, just, just my bathroom be clean, period. But, I mean, the other product that I use, it does a good job, too. But sometimes, you know, I just want it where it be really, really, really deep clean. I mean, the hard works come out, the scrubbing, the all that comes into play. I use this. But I mostly use this, like, every day when I get finished taking a shower, when I finish getting finished taking a shower, or I just said that. When I get finished taking a shower or when I, like, take a bath or not. I use this so it can prevent the ring around the bathtub. So I pretty much just spray around it so it can prevent that. And I also spray in a, in a drainer, I believe, so it can prevent like spiders coming in because it's cold and that's sometimes spiders comes. But I spray that down there. My mom kind of told me about that. So, so far I haven't seen any spiders yet. But yeah, but go ahead and try this Clorox uh, foaming bathroom cleaner